I'm ready. <laughs> Let me know. Now, they're all going to be getting up. They have set alarm clocks. Remember, sometimes it's in the morning. They're, getting, they're skipping work. Uh, in the middle of the night, alarm clocks go off. Drink a lot of coffee. And let me know. <laughs> it takes a second to make. We have to. Sh okay, we are live. We are live. Well, hello, everybody from New York City. <laughs> Broadway, Lansfontaine Theater. And we've been having a lot of fun in here. And uh, everybody's been anxious to get on satellite so we can be talking with all of you. Welcome. Uh, some of you are waking up, some of you are in the middle of your day, some of you are still asleep, and somebody's calling you to say, he's on, go ahead, get on it. Uh, it's happening right now. Um, I don't really want to be talking a whole lot because we're on satellite and we're talking to everyone. Uh, around the world, so music is the best way to go. So, Michael, wh wh where are you going to take us today? We're going to start in South America. Okay. Alba from Sao Paulo, Brazil wants to say, ah. Dear Yanni, first of all, thank you for bringing Pure Yanni live again so that we can all enjoy amazing times together, no matter where we are. My question to you is, looking back, could you tell us how did you feel when your first songs began, began to draw the attention of the public in general? Uh -huh. Did you have path, excuse me, did you have at that time the dimension that your musical path would lead you to? I wish you a great time in your upcoming shows and take care, Alba. Yeah, Song Paolo. Uh, hi Alba, how are you? That's a great question. It's, uh, you know, when I was a, a kid, I had a lot of dreams. And now, in retrospect, looking back at my life, the dreams that I did not give up on have all materialized. It's very interesting. Uh, it's something that I believe in, that dreams, our dreams, they never die. They never end. The only person that can end your dream is you. Your dream never ends until you give up on it. And when it came down to a few of mine, I never gave up. I held on to them. No matter what life said, no matter what my friends said, what my neighbors said, what my record company said, what anybody said, I just went, I want to go over there. And life would move me and push me and say, yeah, go over this way. No. I mean, I want to be here. And I insisted, and I insisted until it became real. If you, I can give you a very quick example. The Acropolis concert, for example, that most people have seen around the planet. It wasn't supposed to take place. It wasn't as if they said, oh, you want to play at the Parthenon? Just go right up there and play. Bring your piano up and an orchestra and have a good time. They don't do that. It's not that simple. It takes, <laughs> it took two years and a lot of effort and energy to gain their trust and to make it happen. And I was discouraged from ever doing that by everyone. My whole, my record company said, absolutely not. We're not going to help you. There is no money. You will, will lose all your money. This is a failing proposition. Uh, I insisted on it. I went after it with all my might. I never gave up. I stuck with it. And two years later, I actually made it happen. That's why it exists today. It's because I never gave up on that dream, that in particular. I never gave it up. Very important. <laughs> it's the lesson in it is that don't give up on yourself too quickly and too easily. It's, uh, we're all very powerful, very powerful. And uh, yeah, I, you know, Alba has a, a great point about did I know? 
Well, you know, I dared to dream. My dreams were big. They were so big that I was embarrassed to even mention them to people around me. They, they sounded egomaniacal. Like, what is the possibility of a young boy from a small town of Kalamata, Greece, playing keyboards, would ever succeed in the music business, let alone be known around the world? I'll tell you what the possibility or the probability is. It's zero. You're not going to make it. It's an impossible dream. And yet, it can be done. And I'm not saying that I'm special. I'm just like you. I just never gave up on the dream. So I'll say it one more time. Don't be so quick to give up on your dreams. Stay right on. All of you out there, too. I'm going to play a song that uh, I just finished writing. Actually, it's not even completed. Uh, I think it's very appropriate. Um, I wrote it in front of audiences during our last tour in the United States. 60 cities I went through. And every night I came out, it was fifth, sixth song into the concert, and I was going to play a song called The Rain Must Fall. And before the band joined in and we did The Rain Must Fall, which is quite popular, and I, I started doing this prelude, and nobody knew what I was doing. What I was doing is I was writing this one piece of music I'm about to play for you. And I haven't performed it too many times live, maybe three times in the past. So, and it has been still developing. And of course, appropriately, it's called When Dreams Come True. Thank you, Alba.
That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun to play. I don't know why I stood up. I do that when I play with the orchestra and the band. <laughs> you know, we just, I'm having fun. It's rocking it out and drums and bass and all that. So, sorry about that. You get a little carried away. Ah, you like that. <laughs> I'm going to play another one. Uh, actually, this is two different themes. And uh, they're not were not written to, uh, at the same time, and they were not supposed to go together. One is in D minor 7th or something like that. The other one is in A major 7th, B flat major. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. And uh, for, for those of you who just joined us, we've been talking about chords and the keys that I write the songs in. This last one was in G minor. I like G minor. The Mermaid is like that, Pants on Water. I know people out there going, hey, come on, play the mermaid. Uh, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> I'm going to hear about it. Um, this one uh, is a blend of, it has Spanish influences, it has flamenco, but it's done in 7 8 time signature, like we were talking earlier. Uh, I've never heard anything like this. It's very difficult to play 7 8 on a guitar. It's, you got to go down and then up. It's backwards. Uh, I know. Um, and uh, D minor, and I don't know. It's called The Flame Within. And the other theme, I don't know what it's called. I'll just mix them up and see what we come up with and have fun. And I'm looking forward to I want to come to Spain. I know we're going to go. We're coming to Egypt, first of all. We're going to be on the Mediterranean coast. <laughs> In a couple of months, Mediterranean coast, right next to Alexandria, on the beach, in the middle of the summer. It's going to be a big party. <laughs> we're going to have fun. And also, we're going in a month, we're going to be in Indonesia. We're coming to you, Indonesia, at the temple, Yogyakarta. And then a month later, we're going to be in Lebanon, in Beirut. There you go, on the waterfront. And uh, it's going to be the whole orchestra. But right now, you just get stuck with me. That's it. <laughs> All right. This is the flame within.
That was a lot of fun. Did that wake you up? <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, boy. Now I can take questions. I need a break.